Make my way to go grab these balls and see what they have for these magic clips. It's cold though. Oh my god. What's going on, boss? Ain't much. The the cordless joints. You want the cordless ones? Yeah. Oh, 85. Bet. 75 for you. 75 for me? Bet. Nah, he's got money, man. What? I, come and, I come and spend it here, all, all the money I make. I try to get this these clippers paid, but I'm, I'm, paying, I'm paying for them for myself. How much uh, for those in the slim lines? Which ones? The twos. The slim lines? Yeah. So my boy's going to take care of me. I'm going to get the slim lines and the magic clips. I'm not gonna say how much I got him for, but my man got me. I'm the star. You hear me? You gotta be a star. <laughs> gonna make your pops a star. All right, so this is what we ended up uh, grabbing. So we have the magic clip up on request, and then the slimline two. That's for a personal project because I wanna hack them. Do another video about the hack if it turns out right so for now we're gonna put these aside focus on the magic clip cordless wall professional clipper you have a plastic cover this is it's made for smart guys not for me the magic clip clipper itself all right, handle kind of strong. At first glance, it doesn't feel much different from the Envy's Li cordless clippers. Ergonomically, a little bit. In terms of weight, they do feel heavier. Um, I'll have to do some adjustments, but it looks like it, it might be good for some scooping work. See motion kind of like wave. It is front heavy. I do like these two ridges for the fingers and the thumb finger. But it's not exactly how I hold my clippers, but it is a very natural grip. Um, and that front weight, I think, with this grip works because it balances out pretty well, pretty good. Charger. It's a thicker cord. It's a much thicker cord than the Andis um, NV cordless, um, but the end seems to be pretty much the same. Uh, it definitely looks more heavy duty. The other one, it looks weaker than the phone charger, to be honest. I wonder if that has some of the, something to do with some of the, the charging issues that I've had with the uh, two sets that I bought so far. And then, they go with a wall comb. Nice for fading. I went ahead and played around with my Andes uh, and the Allies um, to kind of get a feel before I uh, start using them. Um, the question initially from Aaron Chow was whether you could put master blades on the uh, magic clip and that was obviously no, but these two look like they might be a match. So that was uh, the first thing. I'm really big about ergonomics. For me, things have to become a part of me when I'm working with them. Like, I fell in love with these right away even though I've been having battery issues with two of the models that I've got. I don't have the receipts anymore. I don't have the boxes anymore. Um, so I didn't get to sign them in or log. I don't know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go online, I guess. And I couldn't get them fixed. So right now, I spend money on two pairs and um, they both acting up, but still good enough. The next thing that I found, button. To turn them on. I feel it is more natural and it makes more sense as I grab the clipper and as I'm going to move my hand into position and move the handle, right? It makes sense to turn it on clicking up, but you have to click down a little backwards to me. I grab it from the stand, I clip up, and then I adjust it and I fade, but with these, put down, then adjust the hand. Minor stuff, but for me, those little things do make a difference. These two ridges make a huge difference. Uh, for me personally, I think that it is good if that's how you grip, you grip the clippers, but it kind of forces you into 
that grip is if that's not how you grab your clippers then it might feel a little comfortable not something that can be um, adjusted to um, with time and I don't think it will take that long but there's a little things I don't want to change my grip I want the clippers that I get that match my grip which is the way that I'm comfortable in this the easiest on my body so that's just my personal preference and the last thing that I noticed is the uh, the arm handle much looser and easier I can adjust it here but again right off the right out the box um, yeah it's a little strong so if you add the fact that I have to go down come back up and then push hard you know for me it will be a pain in the butt pretty fast I'm very excited about this though. Now on the comparison, I can put the same blade on both clippers and really, really, really do a side by side. There might be some blades that work better with one than the other, um, but bottom line is put same blades on both clippers and give you a real side by side uh, review of the two clippers. So far in terms of the build, the blades on the blades bellies, um, I already think that I'm gonna enjoy this one. They're about the same length. The depth magic clip are a little more, um, I guess, thicker. But overall shape is it's very, very, very similar. I think that they're gonna be very similar. Um, in terms of loudness and power, um, personally, there's not a huge difference either. The walls feel a tad, a tad, not stronger, but more, I guess it, it just feels like a higher end finish. The end is, seems to, it has more of a rattly sound, but again, these are minor, minor differences. Today, if I have to compare the two just by grabbing them, turning them on, and like flicking them a few times, it's the same clipper. To be honest the biggest difference is the ridge and the turn on button the arm is adjustable so I'm, well, I'm pretty sure i can loosen it and the charger cord itself so this is an andy's charger and this is the the magic clip if i had to say they're pretty much the same to me in in, in my hands seems and feel like the wall has a slightly better finish. Everything seems a bit tighter, but other than that, guys, same clipper. So we'll see in terms of battery life, we'll see in terms of the strokes. Then we see the different types of fades, uh, wet hair, dry hair, texture hair versus straight hair, with or without product, different types of fades, shaping, you know, bulk removing, all that good stuff. That it probably is gonna fit my um, single magnetic um, guards, the purple ones from Andy's. Uh, which I like because they stick to my my chest or my apron. So this is it for now. Is the unboxing. So I'll follow up um, after a week or two of using it and let you guys know um, my opinion and how they compare. It's your boy Clipper Hands, Herman Clipper Hands.